Watching Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Blackle. Swings in the market uh, yesterday and today. The Dow down 60 right now. We're down over 80 in early trading yesterday, and then whispers of a deal in Washington. It wound up closing up 64, uh, but now uh, we're seeing the Dow down 58. Uh, we had earnings season underway. Rob, Citigroup kind of disappointing. We had Coca-Cola kind of flat. Uh, Johnson and Johnson better than expected. What are you seeing? I'm going home. So <laughs> if you're going to do the work for I'm me. Sorry. Oh no 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 no. I think that's um, great. Johnson and Johnson, obviously a huge healthcare company. Mm -hmm. They're going to benefit from the Affordable Care Act. Um, prescriptions were up, I think, high single digits. Um, Coca-Cola, good quarter, not great quarter. And then you go back to Citigroup, and fixed income wasn't good. We want the banks to do well, so they're going to get a little weak uh, this quarter. But their trend in the last two to three years has been very, the trajectory has been very high. So uh, they're running into some tougher comparisons, but I feel good. I'm good. not feeling bad. We're 18 points from an all-time high on the S&P 500, even with all this government lunacy. Strangely, I feel better when you feel good. Uh, would you like a little Burberry with their apple? What's going on there? <sighs> Burberry, I can't even afford clothes there. <laughs> um, don't even get me on Hermes. Um, so Burberry, 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 luxury goods dealer out of London, their CEO is leaving in the spring to come work at Apple, taking over the Ron Johnson retail project that he left a couple years ago to go to JC Penney's. Since then, they've tried to um, get some traction going with it. Not anything new or innovative. Uh, this is a smart move. Um, this is the second major European CEO hire uh, for Apple. Obviously, trying to sell high-end price goods matches up with what Burberry and Apple both do together. So she, um, the CEO from Burberry, she comes over and she has a great social strategy. Um, she's got this whole thing that if you're not on Facebook linking with customers, if you're not doing the hashtag relationships with customers, they're going to go away because the future customers are the people who are 18 to 35. So I like the hire. It makes sense. I got to wonder how much did they have to pay her yeah. in ransom in gold iPhones yes. <laughs> um, to, to quit Burberry because she's had a great six year run there. Yeah, and, certainly. You know, she's an American, but uh, you know, coming back from London to San Silicon Valley is nice, but it's not that nice yeah, for London. I'm interested to see what, what kind of changes she'll make at the company. You know, talking about Blackberry, so they have this new ad campaign out. And is it a good thing or a bad thing when a company has to do an ad campaign saying, we're not going out of business, we're going to be around, we're going to be there for you? Probably not a good thing. Okay. So the one thing that uh, BlackBerry could still hang their hat on is their enterprise customers, um, which Microsoft or uh, maybe Apple, someone's going to buy their enterprise side of the business in large part to get access to that secured server um, relationship. Uh, but it's not good when you're telling people we're still relevant because that probably means you're not <laughs> very relevant. All right. Thank you, Rob. We'll check back. Yes? Yahoo reports tonight. Oh, they do. That's after the closing bell. So we'll yes. get Yahoo numbers. So any expectations there? Uh, high expectations. It's always with Marissa so, Mayer. Yes, we want to see her gain some traction with advertisers. We certainly do. Thank you, Rob. We'll check back with Rob at 915 for winners and losers on Wall Street. Daria? Uh,